The scripture says in Romans chapter 12, verse 15, Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Most times, however, we do not just want to rejoice with others, but also be the center of the celebration. The celebration comes because of something good, and everybody, whether good or bad, wants to be blessed. Blessings are gifts we receive from God, and they come in various forms and ways. God's blessings are for everyone, but some of these blessings cannot be acquired unless one fulfills the condition of accepting and believing the gospel. That is, one believes in the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. Blessings are meant to make our lives better and keep us from struggling. Remember, the ground was cursed for man's sake, and since then, man has had to labor and go through stress to make ends meet. Jesus came to earth died on the cross and redeemed us from the curse of the law. In essence, we are no longer under the curse of the law or bound to the principles that affect mere men. We have now become sons of the kingdom and co-heirs together with Christ. This is not to say that we will not be faced with the ups and downs of life. Storms of life are inevitable and situations will arise to dampen our joy. It will not always be smooth sailing with bells ringing, but with God as our anchor, we can be sure of a safe landing no matter what. The blessings of the Lord are for His children and all that believe in Him, and salvation automatically grants you access to the inheritance of sons. The Bible states that we have been blessed with all spiritual gifts in heavenly places, so blessings are not what we struggle to have or get. They are part of our heritage in Christ. Even when God created man in the beginning, one of the first things he did was to bless him. And though the devil tried to steal that which God had given unto us, God found a way of restoring those blessings to us in the person of Jesus. God's blessings are everywhere, from the breath we breathe to the miracle of salvation. If we carefully look through our lives, we would have counted so many blessings both in the past and present, and there's still more to come even until eternity. You should first show gratitude for the things you have received and for the blessings that have come your way. Your very existence is a blessing in itself, and whatever you are and have is as a result of God's grace. A man can receive nothing except it is given from heaven. So, despite the storms and no matter how rough the journey might seem to be, adopt an attitude of gratitude. Learn to appreciate God in all and for all things. Like an adage says, if you are grateful for the things you receive in the past, it will open the door for even greater blessings. Have you been complaining in the past, murmuring about the things you are yet to receive, drowning yourself in depression and allowing sorrow to overwhelm you? Have you become downcast as a result of your current situation? Don't be. Look into your life and begin to appreciate God for the things He has done and for what He will still do. Praise and thanksgiving will open the door for greater blessings where all other efforts might have failed. Remember, God delights in the praises of His people. Like man, He is delighted when we are thankful for the little we have received and it pushes Him to do more for us. If we refuse to acknowledge the works of His hands and the great wonders He is performing around us and with us, we would only be hindering ourselves from receiving our much-needed breakthrough. Your situation cannot be so bad that you cannot find a reason to be grateful as long as you are not dead. Is it your finances, your health, your family, your children, career? There is always something to be thankful for. If not for any other reason, be grateful for life because as long as there is breath in you, anything and everything is possible. For there is hope for a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Job 14, 7. Do you see that? Even if that situation is dead, God can bring it to life again. When Jehoshaphat was faced with an impossible situation, he went to God reminding him of his words and promises and then went to battle singing praises together with the children of Israel. It was an easy victory for them because they praised God and the host of heaven itself fought on their behalf. 
all they had to do afterwards was collect the spoils from the battle, one that they did not fight by their power or strength. Similarly, if you learn to be grateful to God and praise Him at all times, no matter the situation, He will open the windows of heaven and pour down innumerable blessings on you such that you are unable to count them. Another thing is to learn not to compare yourself with other people. When you look at them with their wealth, houses, children, and other beautiful things, you're likely to wonder if God has forgotten you and you become dejected and discouraged. Comparing yourself will get you nowhere near your blessing fast. It can only breed unhealthy rivalry and competition, which might cause you to become ungrateful, lose faith in God, and try other alternatives that would only end in tears. Instead, think of the many promises that Christ has given you. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 says, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. In Christ we have unlimited wealth and riches, things that money cannot buy. Silver and gold belong to him and all authority in heaven above and on earth below has been given unto him. Since we share all things in common with Christ, we have the same rights and privileges. According to the Bible, we are sitting together with Christ in heavenly places, above powers and principalities, and all things have been placed under our feet. Salvation alone which brings eternal life is a great blessing to forever remain grateful for, but thank God we have not been saved into a life of misery, suffering, and pain. We have been called into a life of abundance and prosperity in every area of life. 3 John 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospereth. We have also been called into a life of health and vitality because of his stripes. We have been healed and the healing power of God resides inside of us. We have everything that we need to go through in life. They have been provided in spiritual places, but it might take some requirements to see them manifest in the physical realm. These requirements include our faith, patience, prayers, and alignment with the will of God. If you remain consistent and play your roles effectively, you will begin to count your blessings very soon. When you are being tossed about by the storms of life, it is very easy to lose faith, become discouraged, and give up. Your situation at this time might seem hopeless and you come up empty everywhere you turn to for help. It is at this point that you should strengthen your resolve and keep your hopes high because your miracle is only a step away. Look at the things that God has done in the past and let it strengthen your faith in Him. If He has done it in the past, then He can surely do it again. Look at the woman with the issue of blood, having gone everywhere and wasted all of her resources. She finally decided to take a plunge of faith and touch the hem of Jesus' garment. The moment she did this, the flow of blood was stopped and she became whole again. Why don't you take that plunge of faith yourself and believe in God to help you through that difficult challenge? Without a doubt, He will come through for you and you will receive your blessings without having to pay a dime. God is also a merciful God and He knows your every need sees each tear that drops and hears you when you cry out to him for help. Have you taken that situation to him in prayer? Have you called him for help? He said we have been given the keys of the kingdom such that whatever we bind here on earth remains bound in heaven, and whatever we lose here on earth remains loose in heaven. In essence, we have been given access to all the blessings that we want. All you have to do is decree them into manifestation. If God could heal and deliver the man by the pool of Bethesda, who had been there for a very long time, your situation does not defy the solution with him. So keep being grateful. Trust and keep your faith firm in God and in his word. Call out to him and call forth your blessings in the place of prayer and much sooner than you can imagine, you would see your blessings spring forth. When that time comes, your miracle will be like the catch of fishes Peter had when he allowed Jesus into his boat. 
they would be innumerable and would require the help of friends and colleagues around you. You can begin to celebrate because you will count your blessings very soon. Congratulations! Congratulations!